Rusty's Crypto Xavier out in the shed. Uh, I'm gonna do some, some work. A couple things on the agenda today. Uh, first of all, get up here. That is the Adobe um, gateway, basically for the, the temperature sensors. And I installed one up there. Have one up there. Right there. Even though I do have that one there. I have one hanging here in the shelf. Up here, right in front of that ASIC. And I have one hanging down there in front of the Octominers. Just to get a bunch of different temperature readings. Which I'll throw up on the phone here. Um, I'll record on the screen. So we can see exactly what's kind of going on. And the app pulled up. And it's starting to record here, so. Alright, so I have screen recording as well, so we can see temperature that's up there is currently reading 97.3 that one's reading 100 and that's that probe right there hanging down on the intake side that one is reading 75.2 76 on the one that's right next to it the one that is up there that is reading 92.5 up there in the roof peak area and then top shelf is 90.7, middle shelf is 88, and then 79. Um, so what my goal is, once I move this uh, ink miner down to the box there, in the bottom there, and directly exhaust that out, I'm expecting these shed temps to drop, especially, especially definitely be a lot closer. It's not the thing that the hot pocket of air in the top won't be as bad. Uh, which is another step I can think of is I can use a foam board insulation to make like a drop ceiling in here, which I think I talked about doing that last year. Uh, that, that can be an option as well. And just get the air, the heat to get sucked out more often. Uh, there's 101 there on the exhaust side, and it's only... I'm going to stop recording my phone. It is... 69 degrees outside. So... And it's getting into like the 90s and stuff in here already. So um, just get ready for when summer comes. Getting all this heat out. So because you can hear this one's pretty loud already. So I'm hoping by moving it down there, first of all, it's going to be sucking in cooler air, and then second of all, all the heat that it's producing is going right outside the shed. And then speaking right outside the shed, I did receive my uh, wood part that I was going to use. And I just have it mocked up for now. Um, there it is. Now I'll just basically like dump it right down and then right out. So I'm going to give that a whirl. Um, it seems like it's just slipped on there for now. But it's actually fairly sturdy the way it is. So I, I may even just say to hell with it and just taper up and give it a go like that and see how that works. And... Uh, get the AC glue today too. The other thing on the agenda I had the box of filters out here so uh, I'm gonna get them swapped out and get some freshies in there and then I'm gonna get moving the ASIC and then see how, uh, see how that works. I did I did put a little patch panel there tape that on there temporarily just to so it won't be sucking air in that way. Um, I didn't want to have any air coming in there and there's like an additional intake so once I get these filters swapped out, then I'll move the ASIC, and I'm even thinking about, I got some of those little foam sound bending panels, I might tape some of them on the inside of that box, just to help reduce the noise somewhat as well, because that thing's going to be dumping right out, right outside. I might even stick some of those panels inside that, in that hood too, to, to help maybe deaden some noise. But it, it will be dumping the noise pretty much straight down into the ground, so I don't know. We'll see what it's like without it, and we go from there. But. Let me get some things moved around, and we'll be right back. Judging by the looks of those, those probably could have been changed a little bit ago. They're pretty crusty. I bet. 
now. All new and fresh. That should probably actually help the airflow a little bit as well. Just because the MERV rating, the MERV rating and the, and the 14 inch wide filters are the same at, at a MERV 4. The ones I had in here before were a MERV 3 or a MERV 5. And now these are also mirror four, so they can flow a little bit better as well. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, get a little better airflow in here. But time to start moving the ASIC. I gotta gather some of the like the power cords and all that stuff, and then we'll get working on that and get that S19 J Pro Plus 120 terahash move. It's a mouthful. They're making their stupid freaking naming schemes. Alrighty, here we have those foam panels, um, basically glued in a double-sided tape to the top, and I got like liquid nails on it to help it stay up. And then on the bottom, that one is just resting there uh, because the fans are going to be pushing down in this anyway. So that one I didn't, didn't secure. I don't think that one should be an issue. That should just dump right outside, and hopefully that works. But uh, we'll see. Uh, so I'm gonna get the AC plugged in and uh, see it, see how it goes. Alrighty, she's up and running. Uh, it's only been going for a couple minutes. Uh, looks like we're, we are at full power. We'll, I'll hop on the computer when we go inside and see what we're at. But we're pulling 5,093 watts in this breaker. It was just under 3,000, like 2,900 and some before. So. The red brake is a little over, which is because I switched the, the 13070 rig that's on that breaker is dual mining a lithium and iron fish that and put that over at a, the 24 amp roll, so I'm a little bit over on that. So I might have to maybe move a, a lithium rig over to the blue one or something. They're only using a couple hundred watts. But back to here, We're running a whole hell of a lot quieter, isn't it? So, and not making a whole lot of noise. I need to go inside and see what the temps are. I tried to log in on my phone. I don't remember what the Epic Control Board password is. Or if I changed it to something, I don't remember. I tried what I probably would have changed it to, but it didn't work. So I'll have to go inside and log in. Uh, but it's definitely running run much, much quieter. And cables are kind of in the way, but it, I also put the new infinite cables on there. So that's on the blue breaker. So that's got the blue power cables. Um, had way more extra so I kind of stuffed it under there. It's mining Bitcoin so it's got the orange Ethernet cable as well. So, and definitely I'm going to tidy up all the cables and stuff at some point. Uh, so I do have uh, new Ethernet cables and Ethernet cables to kind of more organize that spaghetti mess right there. Um, that's a disaster. Um, but open air rigs are kind of messy to begin with. So, uh, but temps have dropped to 89 and then it is 70 degrees out now so for now i think it's working uh, i'm gonna let it run for a bit i could probably actually kill some of the fan speeds down and uh but she's going good but the air is definitely cooler coming in on the bottom uh, so it's definitely drawing in cooler air so i'm thinking it's gonna i think it's gonna work out well but um i just need to monitor the AC temp make sure that it's going all right I kind of just rigged up the exhaust on the outside and sorry about that my uh, SD card filled up I didn't realize I was running out of space but for the time being I just have a rigged up like this with just the the foil tape on there uh, kind of see how that does yeah I do have some silicone and stuff on the inside as well so like right where the metal pieces touch, I put silicone in there and then taped her up. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's not really going to have much um, force on it, so I don't see any reason why I should have probably like freaking riveted it or anything like that. But um, a bunch of heat coming out. Seems kind of doesn't seem too loud. I have to get the keys to get the hell back in here. The hell did I do with them? There they are. It's not very loud. You know, it's in the software system, it's in the fans are at 100%. Uh, so, my guess is what was screaming was the power supply, which is usually the 
case. Um, but those fans are at 100%, and that's as loud as it is. That's pretty damn good. I can call it a success, but I don't want to jump the gun just because I want to make sure uh, the temps they set and everything stay good. We are still at 88, so I am going to let this run for a bit because right now the Epic Control Board is running the voltage optimizer. Uh, to optimize it to 90 terahash, I think I had that one set at. So we're gonna let that run for a bit, jump the computer, and we'll be back. We are back inside here, logged into the miner, and you can see the voltage optimizer. Actually, had must have just completed. It. Uh, it's been running for 22 minutes because uh, that was running just before. Um, it set it to be run at 90 terahash. This is pulling about 2462 degrees exhaust temps, 49 intake temps. Efficiency is 27 joules per terahash, which is not very good, compared, to, especially compared to the S19K Pro. It says the fans were running at 100. I'm not really sure, but um, it didn't sound that loud when we were just out in the shed. And they've been saying that at 100 the whole time, but the uh, it is what it is with that. Uh, but it seems to be running good. It's not overheating, um, all that good stuff. So... Uh, I think that's working so far, and then I'm also going to pull up on my phone, and I'll pull, put the video up on the screen as well, that the uh, temps and stuff like that are down. Um, so the, the exhaust side temperature, let's see that one, here's from the video before, it was 91, 97, 92. As you can see, the exhaust, exhaust side and roof peak that I have on the screen here, and then... Go back to the Govi app, and we've got 84, 94, and 92. So the, the roof peak is still close to the same, uh, so that didn't really change much. The exhaust side, that one dropped a little bit, not a ton, only three degrees. I was hoping for a little bit more than that, but I still do have the, the KS2 um, blowing that heat kind of in that direction as well. Um, so we do have that. And then, um, but the exhaust side temp um, at the wall, pretty much right where the fans are at, at uh, 84.2 compared to 91 that dropped a decent amount um, so I'm happy with that kind of let it run for a while and uh, uh, we'll go from there and see how that works so the uh, so far I think it's working pretty good uh, just in time will tell um, that's the first of the two I would like to do that with the KS2 as well and just have it on the next shelf up and then have that one just dumping out into the exterior and not into the, the shed itself uh, to just get that hot air out of there. And then and I probably wouldn't have to run the fans as, like the, the shutter fans, as at a highest speed as I do currently just to exhaust all the heat out of there. So overall, I think it's doing doing well. The uh, This seems like I'm just going to monitor this just to keep, make sure this is running, running well and not overheating or anything as well. So just don't want it to start cooking. Um, and the other thing is, too, once the having hits, um, if this is going to be staying running, it's going to be running at an even lower power mode, power rate. Uh, maybe even drop it to, say, like 80 terahash or 75 terahash or whatever, just to see, trying to get some more efficiency out of it, see if I can make it break even. Um, if I can't make it break even or so, then it's going to get shut down. So, which I'm pretty sure the S19J Pro 104 terahash will be getting shut down. Um, just cause I don't know if that's going to be possible to get that efficient enough to to keep running um but we'll see time will tell and uh, we'll go from there but until the next video we'll catch you later